Hello, this is Leah, and I have these three tote bags that I made a while ago. They're great as they are, they're very useful, but I'd like to take them to the next level and add some slow stitching, maybe some mixed media, and have them be even better. So let's get working. These are the totes that I have that have been in my shop now for a bit. And I made quite a few of these. The rest went uh, either in my shop or um, I did a market um, a while back and they did well there. So these are simple, no patchwork. I just let the fabric um, be the star. They're all designer home decor fabric, and they're in fact vintage from the 90s, uh, early 2000s. It's crazy that that's considered vintage, kinda. Um, and at this point, I think that they're just not fancy enough. They, they don't have, at least I'm thinking that I just need to add something. So what I want to do is I want to add a bit of slow stitching, some really fun textures, and I'm going to do it as a functional pocket. So I'm just gonna add it to what I consider to be the outside, and but there really isn't an inside or outside, but these are the sides that I'm going to do it on. And I'm gonna decide on the size and then I'll work on that with you and then we'll align it and add it as the pocket. And again, since they're reversible, they can be on either side. So this is great for anything. If you just wanna make a patch, if you wanna make a pocket, if you wanna add it to anything, this is, this is a great little project because it gives you that little special without having to spend months on something. <laughs> All right, so let me decide on the size and pull from my stash some scraps that I'd like to use. And then I will just do that while um, I sit here. So I have all my goodies and I, let me first show you. So I have buttons and charms and I have all kinds of fibers, fun fibers and wool and embroidery floss in all the colors I think I'll need. I also have a, a stash of really cool ones too. I've got a whole bunch of jewelry, broken jewelry, junk jewelry that I'm gonna use the beads maybe. And I have some sentiments that I stamped out on muslin. This one says, happiness always, there we go, happiness always. And this one says, if I put my glasses back on, dreams come a size too big so we can grow into them. And this one says, it's the little things that make life big. Okay, I've got some old uh, vintage fabric, some burlap, and some little tea stain and coffee stain embroidery things, and little trims. And then I decided, I'll push this stuff away so you can see this better. Uh, this is what, first of all, I decided on six and a half inches square. I think that will work for everything. And I went with geometric because the design I'm going to do, I decided on kind of a plan. And I went with geometrics because the design is, and I'll show you that in a minute, is uh, a tree 
with flowers and leaves and things like that. So I didn't want, I want a contrast. I didn't want to get confused in the design. So this is all my upholstery fabric. And I already fused my fusible fleece to the back. This is what I cut out at six and a half. And I'm going to use, I'm going to do these in the hoop so that I have stability. And so this one is the horse one. I thought this kind of looked like a super fancy uh, horse blanket. And this is the lining for the pocket. I thought that looked like horse tails. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it kind of looks like horse tails. So that is that one. This one, which is the kind of garden bistro theme, I went with this geometric and this lighter cotton floral for the liner. And then this animal print, I went with a stripe. And so it's on the back. And then this linen cotton for the liner. And the reason why is because this is also some kind of, uh, I don't know for sure what it is, but it's pretty thin. So I wanted a little bit more heft with the pocket. So that is my fabrics for the background. This is the design I am going to do. Now I trace this from a free printable um, tree of life. I think it's needlepoint or cross stitch. I don't know, cause I don't do either one. So I don't know what the difference is. Um, so you can go to this uh, Jean Farish needle or Farish, Ferris, Farish needleworks. And she has this uh, pattern that you can print out, but I'm just using it at, to trace because this seemed to be the exact size I needed. So I did a really rough tracing. Now, because I have dark upholstery fabrics, I can't really trace onto my fabrics. So I'm just gonna use it as a guide for myself so that I don't kind of lose my focus in what I'm doing. So there's a little butterfly and a heart and tree with flowers. So I'm gonna incorporate my fibers, embroidery floss, uh, charm. What do, charms did I pick out? Oh yeah, I picked out hearts that are going to just hang from that middle thing. So I've got three that I picked out. Where's the other one? Here it is. So that'll be kind of fun to have something like that. And then between the beads and the buttons, that will be my flower design and my leaves. And I might find a charm that's a butterfly too, if, if I think that it look, it'll look good that way. So I'm gonna link this below for you if you want this very design. Okay, so, Let's get started with one of them. I'll pick this one. And I'm just going to kind of do this sped up just a tad so that it doesn't take all day for you to watch. But this is kind of going to be probably the next few hours for me. Okay, let's have fun.
I decided to work on all three at the same time. And since I don't do this working in a hoop very often, I didn't plan very great. So this became very difficult to control my fabric because I just didn't cut it out big enough. So I actually sewed this together. So when I went to try to put these fabrics in the hoop, I didn't, as you see here, this is a bigger hoop. I decided to actually sew my square to another piece of fabric. And then I cut out the back so that I could work on it. So it's not the most professional way to do it, but it worked for me. And yes, I'm not stretching this fabric as good as had I just cut it out bigger. So something to think about for next time, I will do that. So I uh, finished the trunk and the branches of this one. I'm working on this one right now. They're all gonna turn out different because I'm kind of just drawing it as I go. And I have since learned um, a couple different ways I could have traced or um, actually with carbon paper onto darker fabric. So maybe I will do that in the future. And then I just drew this one on. So for homework for myself, I am going to go ahead and get to this point with the other two. And then our next video with this project, I will start working on the, probably the uh, base here and the little sentiment I think I'm gonna put down here. And then our charms and bead work and buttons. We'll do that together. So a little change in the way I'm going to be doing things from now on, I'm gonna shorten my videos and I'm going to do them more frequently. So I will be back very soon in just a couple days with more work on these. And also I think either in a day or two, I'm going to have kind of an update video for what's coming next in the next couple months because I have some exciting changes as well as I wanted to fill you in on what I have been doing these last couple weeks while I haven't been with you. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.